Okay, we're inside the Lorain County Children's Services Coaches Corner. I'm with Coach Kevin Fell, the Elyria Pioneers. I'm Nick Hurst. Coach, this is marks the midway point of the season as you go up against Mayfield coming up this week. Um, Coach, evaluate the team's performance so far. You had a close call in Amherst, but since then it's been relatively smooth sailing, had a couple quality wins. Just talk about the season so far. Well, you're right. We were uh, we struggled mightily at Amherst. We uh, Statistically, we won the battles, but we uh, barely won the war. And uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the time, we've played a little better each week. We've eliminated some penalties. We've eliminated some uh, just all-around stupid football that we didn't, we really didn't do in scrimmages. We just they kind of all came out early. And we've played pretty well week to week. We uh, the last couple of weeks, Midview and uh, Valley Forge last week in the second half, we've played pretty good football. Um, we seem to be getting better, but again, we're 4-0, and and we really face the meat of our schedule here these next six weeks. Talk about some of the players that have stepped up for you so far. Well, we're, uh, we're, we're primarily known as an offensive football team, especially this year when we have a lot of offensive kids back. But, but I really think the key to our team this year has been defense, and we've had some kids that have played well for us defensively really for the last two years. Tavon Cummings and uh, Connor Kamchak are our two linebackers who uh, – both are outstanding linebackers and played last year. Uh, we lost, a, obviously, a really fine football player, Tracy Sprinkle, last year in Illyria. But we um, we replaced him this year. Devin Reed and a couple of other guys have come in and just done a great job for us. I think probably the key defensively, though, is uh, our secondary is solidified and uh, it's played really well. Zach Robinson is a two-year starter at the safety, and we um, we seem to be a little better back there. Offensively, we've got the usual guys back. Hunter Parsh is a two-year starter at quarterback. We've got two three-year running backs in Jordan Connell and Jamar Lewis and Tavon Kurtz at split end. And those guys are our skill guys. Uh, Darius Badford and uh, Seth Billings are both back in the offensive line. And so we've been pretty good offensively. Now this team has been real close to making the playoffs the last couple years. And is this something you're kind of looking at And now that the playoff – Early playoff rankings are now available. I believe you guys are uh, fourth in Division One, Region One, right now. Uh, ironically, we've been uh, seven and two going into Game Ten the last two years, and Game Ten has been Mayfield Heights, and Mayfield Heights has beat us both years in a row. Uh, probably neither time we would like to think they should have. They were both uh, they were both real close games and uh, real hard fought games. So May or, uh, Mayfield Heights is a very big game for us this year. They've rotated the schedule and we play them on Game Five. But uh, we consider Mayfield Heights to be the best team we play all year, and I think it's going to be one heck of a football game. And has that been kind of a, an incentive for the team this year, getting maybe a little vengeance for the last couple years, you know, been able to miss out on the playoffs, and they've been able to like, springboard into the playoffs? Well, it's been kind of different guys two years ago. Last year, though, a lot of these guys were on the field, and uh, we did not play very well in the first half against Mayfield, and uh, we were down like 27 to nothing, but at one time I think it was tied 27 all. And... Uh, it was a heck of a football game last year, and uh, we would really like a chance to play well tonight. All right, and uh, get, we're getting to this Mayfield team, what do you know about them? What have you kind of been looking at this season to change from the last couple of years? Well, Mayfield's an awful lot like us. They, uh, they seem to reload every year. They, they run a very similar offense to us. They're a spread team. They like to throw the ball. They've thrown the ball successfully for the last three years. Uh, before that, they were a running team, and they had some really nice running backs. Defensively, they've always been a very tough football team. Uh, this year, they're a relatively new, relatively new uh, defense, but uh, they seem to be weekly getting better. And the last two weeks, they played really nice defense. And what kind of things have you been pressing on the team this week in practice as you go forward with this game? Well, we we've been, I think, in the last two years against Mayfield, five of their touchdowns have been on the uh, they call the wheel route, which is basically up and out. And so obviously we've been working hard on the wheel, but we worked hard on it for two years before that too and couldn't stop it. So we think that, you know, one of the keys is our ability to stop their offense. We cannot just let them run up and down the field. And you mentioned the keys. Now we'll sum up this interview with, you know, what are some other things that you, you know, want to see out of the team to be able to come up on top against this Mayfield team? Well, I think in a game like this, and it's going to be a very, very close football game, I think special teams obviously are going to play a big key. Uh, you got to have a kicker. You got to have a punt team. You can't let uh, can't let special teams let you down. Last year they ran a kickoff back against us, and uh, that was the difference in the game. 
and uh, we have to make sure we're come out even or hopefully ahead there. Secondly, I think defensively, we've got to play with them. We've got to make them work for everything. Offensively, we'll take care of ourselves. We'll uh, we'll move the ball and we'll score some points, and uh, hopefully we'll score more than they do. All right, Coach, and thanks for joining us today. And that was Coach Kevin Fell, the Elyria Pioneers, and we'll be right back here on WDLW.